And how did we meet? I accidentally stepped on her foot. <laughs> screamed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> One of the ways, and there are several, to raise strong children is to have. So that's your challenge. You got to get to 26. How long did we date before we got married? Hey guys, how are you doing fam? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. I'm Mike. <laughs> we are in the car driving to Florida. But today's a special day. Today is a special day. We skipped right over that. What is it, honey bun? It's our 26th wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? It 26 is. years. 26 years. It's craziness. Seems like it went like that. Yes. But we have so much, so many rich things that we've done. Like a, it's been such a rich experience that it's like, wow, we've done a lot. Yes, and today we bought a, a little something special for each other at <laughs> Bucky's. <laughs> Best place ever. Mike got me dark chocolate covered almonds. He knows me very well and loves me very much. Yes. Jill brought me some beautiful chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and they actually are very good. <laughs> well, listen, sometimes we get extravagant gifts, sometimes it's just what we really want. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about that later, how but we celebrate each other. We are doing something very special. We are doing something very special. So, um, and you know what, I will say this. Um, Mike is amazing in many ways, but he's he is not that husband that forgets your anniversary. Like he always remembers. It's not a like, oh gosh. In the beginning of our marriage, he had it inscribed on the inside of his ring, which he still does, obviously. Uh -huh. But um, he would check it. But he know he knows the day. It's not. And actually, it's the summer solstice. It's the longest day of the year, which was an intentional. We, we'll get into that. We'll yeah. get into that. So you guys, we um, to celebrate today, we decided that we wanted to do a Q and A with you and answer the questions that you have just for Mike and I. <laughs> I know it's okay. These were great questions. Normally, um, or in the past, we've done Q and As. We've done either just the kids or the whole family, and now it's just Mike and I. A little anniversary Q and A. So I read through. I literally just asked the questions this morning. You guys came up with a gazillion questions, and they're yeah. phenomenal. So we we're reading through and realized that, because um, I asked you guys, hey, ask us questions about parenting, about our marriage, about life, whatever, and you did just that. So there are so many questions that came through that I went through and I'm like, okay, this is the deal. We're gonna have to answer kind of like the parenting questions later and the life questions later and the flight attendant questions later. Like you guys have a lot of good questions. But today, since we're so many, we're just gonna focus on pretty much like dating and then proposal a little bit and then we got married in maybe early years in our marriage. Does that sound okay? Sure. You good with that? Sounds great. Okay, excellent. Let's do it. So I made some notes. Um, I'll start. Ready? Fire it up. So the first question is, how long did we date before we got married? So I have to calculate that. Um, a bit of time, actually. We started dating in, a I can tell you, in April of 1993. Really? Did you know that? Wow. <laughs> yes, April of 93, and we got married in June of 97. Really? So four, April, May, June. So four oh, years and two months, yeah, we dated. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. So um, yeah, that was great. So, and how did we meet? Jill was one of my breakfast waitresses. She was the cutest waitress on the planet. She just showed up one time at my restaurant at Boat Rights at Walt Disney World. So I was a waitress and um, Mike was my manager. And we immediately, well, me immediately, I don't know about you, but immediately um, we're smitten with each other. Mm -hmm. You came in with a, a, a bunch of with my family. New waitresses, though. Oh, yeah, I think I did. Right? Yes, I think I did. So you came in the day before I noticed you in the restaurant. I'm like, whoa. Because I knew I was going to be working there. And my family was down visiting me, my brother and my sister and my in-laws. They were down visiting. And um, I said, you know what? I'm going to start at this restaurant tomorrow. Let's go there for breakfast today so you guys can see where I'm going to be working. So we went and we had breakfast. And Mike was the manager yes. that day. You guys were all laughing and having a good time. And I asked him, what was that girl in? I can't remember the name of the, the number of the booth, but I went, oh, that's something. And then you showed up the next morning. <laughs> As your employee. <laughs> oh, how fortunate. How about that? So as you can imagine, it was poo-pooed upon to um, date your employees. So I worked there for, till we fell in love and 
became an item and then transferred out of that department and went to another department. Yeah. yeah. So that's how we met. That was there. That story still gives me butterflies in my tummy because there's much more to it, but it was so very exciting and so very fun. Yes. Um, the third question about dating. Oh, the first time we met each other's family. Like, do we remember the first time we met each other's family? And I do. I remember first meeting your family. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Mike's youngest sister, Jackie, was getting married. <laughs> and um, of course, Mike was in the wedding. And he's like, well, would you like to come up and go to yes. my sister's wedding in Rochester? And of course, we were living in Orlando. And I was like, okay. So not only did I meet like the whole family at once, I met all the friends and the cousins and the <laughs> sisters and the brothers and the aunts and the uncle, the whole, the whole smear all at one time. It was quite overwhelming, yes. but it was great. That's funny. I remember my sister Kat saying, I really like her when she, I remember Kat saying, I love her voice. She said, she's got that voice that scratch I said, I do too. <laughs> so Jill was a hit. My sister was a hit because she got married, but you really liked that. <laughs> that was very fun. I remember having a blast. I was, I was looking at pictures yesterday. We were looking at several pictures. There's some great pictures from there. I remember like, <laughs> Laura, the whole nine yards. I remember that. How about you? Do you remember meeting my family for the first time? I time? remember being in Saratoga and coming to... Was it a reunion? Your high school reunion? No, it was, oh, it was Amy's wedding. wedding. Yes. Amy and Mike's wedding. My, my friend from high school, Amy and Mike, yes. had, got married. I and I from Rochester and stayed, yes. Yes, and I was in Amy's wedding, and I invited Mike, and Mike came. Do you want to tell a story about dancing with my mom? Oh, my dad. <laughs> Funny I'm not story. a good dancer. I want to be a good dancer. And you love dancing. <laughs> no, because I know I look silly, but uh, I tried to dance with your mother, and Actually stepped on her foot and <laughs> screamed at me. I was so embarrassed. She just thankfully she doesn't remember it anymore, but I thought it was cool. <laughs> I remember him coming over and be like, I just stepped on your mother's foot. Yeah. <laughs> I started so laughing. Bad. So funny. I love it. That's a great story. Great story. Alright, so let's move on to um proposal. We shouldn't get into the full, you guys, this proposal, I, I'm going to save it for a different day. And we, we will do a story time on how Mike proposed to me because it is so elaborate and creative and like award winning. So I will just say that he proposed to me in Orlando. Uh, one knee. One knee. And you got to figure you only, really only want to propose once, right? <laughs> right. So you got to get it right. One. Yes. So he went all out, totally all out. And one of the questions was, was I surprised? Completely. It was, it was, a, I mean, we had talked about getting married. We knew we were going to get married, but like when it actually happened, when the proposal actually happened, was a complete surprise and totally blew me away in, in the way that he did it. And um, somebody also asked, Did you ask my parents to, that it, before you asked me if you could marry me? Yes. Yes, I did. No. My mom? No, just my dad. Just your dad. Your mom was so mad because I said what? She was going to say, say no. <laughs> no, with her dad. That was smart, Mike. Good thinking. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I guess so we got engaged in Orlando. And then um, then we got married. We got married on this day, June 21st, 1997. Longest day of the year. Longest day of the year. Solstice, which is also the name of a small sailboat that we had. Yes, right after we were married and moved to Annapolis, Maryland, we bought a sailboat that was literally, well, that's a whole other story, but anyway, the sailboat was one of those ones that are, like, they donate donate your sailboat kind of thing. Okay. Well, we fixed it up. and we went and it was like a donated sailboat, so then we went and bought it and fixed it up and, like, yeah. spent hours, days, weeks, months yes. fixing it up and painting it, around. sailed it around, so. yes, it was like... It was in the junkyard, basically, and we revived it, so that was awesome. And every year for our anniversary, we poked the flags up, so we would hoist the flags, the colorful flags, so you knew it was our anniversary when the flags were on. That was a nice tradition. That is a nice tradition. And I'll share another one with you. When each baby was born, we raised the flags yeah. as well, because yeah. the boat was like on the water in front of our house, and people could see the flags as they drove by. It was yeah. very cool. Yeah. So anyway, um, how did we get on that? Wait, what was the question I was answering? Uh, we wedding. got married, yes. Oh, so one of the questions was, where did you get married? 
We got married in Saratoga Springs, New York, which is where I grew up. Beautiful, hot, hot day. We are just telling Ryan about that, the dead kid in the back. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's back there sleeping, by the way. So, might, might see a little glimpse of him. And he does have a seatbelt on. He does. Yes, he does. And he's all, you can see right there, and he's all wrapped up in blankies. But anyway, um, so we got married in Saratoga Springs, New York at right. my church. We had live band. It was cool. Yep. The reception was at um, a country club and a live band. And we had, if you guys didn't see the video of where Katie tries on my wedding dress, take a peek <laughs> at that. Because at the end of that video, you'll see pictures of... Um, That's a great video. Yeah, you'll see you'll see our wedding dress, and you'll see some pictures of, from our wedding as well. I'll try to put some pictures in here, but I'll, truth be known, I gotta tell you this: one of the questions is, but I'll get to that one in just a second. Wow, that wedding dress was smoking awesome, and it still is. And he's still great at it. Oh, you're Twenty six years later, it's amazing. I mean, thank you. Check out the video; it's good stuff. Thank you. I love my dress. I I would pick it again. I would choose it again. A hundred percent. I absolutely loved it. Um. So one of the questions was, when we were first married, like do we have any tips for people who are first married on how to like sort of navigate those first few years? Mm -hmm. I, I'll, say, I'll say this, I mean, everybody's different, everybody's relationship is different, but for the first five years of our marriage, we lived in Louisville, Kentucky which was away from family and friends. Um, Mike moved there for his job and we went together and um, and it was, you know, we love Louisville, Kentucky, by the way. What a beautiful, beautiful place. But moving there, we didn't know anybody. Um, so it really gave us time as a couple to really like explore a new place together and to like explore like marriage like how is this going to work now that we live together and now that we're married and and how do we communicate in that way and and you know what takes priority and those types of things so it really gave us an opportunity to solidify early on we start creating our own traditions right that's exactly Simple right stuff that started like how we cut down the Christmas tree over here. That all started in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. And then going um, pumpkin patch, that all started in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And um, our love of jazz music and going out and, and celebrating. We played golf together. That's right. We had chili festival. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. We had so many great times. Like we would walk to the grocery stores mm -hmm. right across the street. Like, we you know, learned to cook, all that kind of stuff we did. Oh, and oh my gosh, this is another great tradition that we had. So I, I guess I would say if you're looking for tips on on strengthening, strengthening your relationship early on, I think it is building those traditions and having those um, pastimes. One of my favorite things that we did was we had this little apartment. It was, I can't remember, was it 500 square feet or it cost us $500 a month? Or both? It was it 500 been both. square feet and it was 800 dollars Oh, is that right? Okay. So the um, we would clean the apartment every Saturday morning. So we knew we both worked Monday through Friday. So we both knew on Saturday mornings we would wake up and we would put on CDs. What are you looking at? This is a herd of pigs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Those, those were wild boar. <laughs> That's interesting. You don't see that very often. No, no, you don't. My goodness. So we. Um, we would put the CD on of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Do you remember the, the 21st night of September? September. Yeah. So, and we would dance and clean, and we knew, like, I took the bathroom, Mike vacuumed the floor. Like, we knew what our what we what each of our responsibilities were, and we would dance and sing, and it was fun. And so, our apartment stayed clean, and we had fun, and we felt like we could have a great weekend because we accomplished like doing all that so it was a, a bunch of pride that we had together in our place and and working each of together. us working together and contributing together yeah which is so one person laying around another person cleaning all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah why do you lay around all the time <laughs> so those are some like sort of beginning things another question that somebody had is about our finances So how did we do that? Because that can be a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I read somewhere early on that that's the number, one of the number one causes of divorce was finances. So our, our um, of course you want to take care of each other financially also. So, but you also want some independence for your own finances. 
So we got a joint, uh, joint bank account. Um, so if the two of us had a checking account, we both lost money in that, and then we both had separate accounts where we'd have our own money to be able to do, do things that we wanted to do. We didn't have to ask each other for permission to spend money, which gets really weird and stuff. But you can maintain your own independence that way, and I think it worked out really we, we, never, we rarely argue about money. Right, and then also with the joint accounts, we would both contribute to that. So. So we each had, so we have one joint account and then we each had our own separate accounts. And the joint account, what we would do is we said, okay, this is what your salary is, Mike, and this is what my salary is. This is what our bills are. So we each paid in proportionately to how much money we made. So let's say Mike made 60% more than I did. I made 40% of the income and he made 60%. He would put in 60% of the bills and I would put in 40% of the bills. So that worked out beautifully for, for that. And then when we had kids at all with that. <laughs> And it's just a cast of withdrawal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. There's no depositing. <laughs> so anyway, so that's how that worked out. So if you guys are thinking about, you know, if you're a new couple or something, or if finances aren't working out for you right now, even if you're an established couple, um, or even if you're just two friends living in an apartment together, like that's a great way to, you know, do it. So that's how we did it. Mm -hmm. um, and then one more quick question, and this probably isn't going to be quick, but this is sort of a, a life question. Like the question is, How do you balance kids, traveling, jobs, and relationships? So that's a that's a that's a big one. Um, for example, right now, that's why we're doing this video in the car right now, is because we do travel a lot. Um, there's always something going on, whether we're like taking kids somewhere or picking them up or need to go, you know, travel for work or travel for vacation, whatever. Um, we just we say where there's a will, there's a way, and we fit it in when we need to. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple things on that. Yeah. Um, Jill is practicing her PA announcements for being a flight attendant, and one of the phrases that I love the most is, first you put on your own mask, and then you put the mask on the kid, right? Well, you say it nicer. But that's basically uh, what we try to do. We try to take care our, of ourselves, our mask first. So, like Jill, will, in the morning, she'll go out for a walk and like gather her thoughts and just do the things that she needs to do in the morning just to kind of structure her day and then she takes care of the kids and so uh, so I'll go and work out and, and make sure that that's done and then, then when you're working with the kids or giving time to each other then you've already taken care of yourself same thing with the mask right so you can't take care of your kids or each other unless you've taken care of yourself first so I mean there's balance to that and all but that's that, that's kind of my our, our mindset isn't it absolutely yeah. yes and I have two more things to add one of those things is that, that we believe that the way that we can, one of, one of the ways, and there are several, to raise strong children is to have a strong marriage. So it's very important to us that they experience us and see us as as a single unit. <laughs> There's monkeys. <laughs> and, you know, there's times that we disagree, and that's understandable, or, or disagree with how we should be parenting or that type of, type yeah. of thing. But for the most part, you know, we work through that, but for the most part, like, they see us loving each other and they see us as a unit and they see us as a, a strong, loving parents who can who can serve their strong kids, you know? Um, the other thing I was going to say is, um, oh, that, you know, balancing it all. We talk about balancing it all. You guys, if you've watched us for a while, you know I've said this a lot. We're very intentional around what we do. We're intentional around family time. We are intentional around um you know, homework, we're intentional around work, work, like, so it's, we're not wishy-washy parents by any means, and um, we don't always say yes, we say no a lot, because we remind the kids, well, this was what mostly happened me. first. <laughs> yeah, mostly Mike, but that's okay, like, still, I mean, you know, I mean, we'll do another parenting one, um, I, we'll probably do a lot of parenting Q&As, but my, my thing about that is this, Oftentimes, like the kids will, you know, can I sleep over here? Can I sleep over here? Well, no, not if it's family night. Like, not if it's a time where we all have scheduled to be together. Because if you start saying yes to everything, then then you never, if you say yes to everybody else, you never say yes to your family. And saying yes to your family, and yes to family time, and yes to um, that time to grow and love and play together, and travel together, and all that stuff will never happen. So you really have to be intentional around it. So we're very intentional around it. Thank you.
That's not to say that kids don't go to their friends' house. Oh, that's not true. Right. We do prioritize when you say that we're going to do something. We pretty much do it, right? Yes. And, and for that as well, did I already talk about this? I can't, I think I already talked about this. Mike and I, how do we like keep the spark alive? Somebody asked. We are very intentional around our anniversary and our time together as well. I'll start with our anniversary. So our anniversary happens every year and we take time away every year. Sometimes it's not grand, but it's always away, right? Last year was at the uh, Hilton Head Island. It was great. Yes. We, it was it's a just one a night, or two right? night. Yeah, I think it was just one night because we came back. What we're doing is we dropped Katie off at summer school at college and we were on our way back. Two was it two nights? Yeah. And we stayed two nights in yeah. Hilton Head in yeah. a hotel. We had yeah. a great time. Just the two of us. Like, it was so wonderful. This year, I know that we just bought each other some candy and cookies, but this year we are um, going on a cruise to Alaska and we are taking my parents and my sister and my brother and my other brother and their friend. No, we're not taking them. They're, we're all going together, but we're all going to be celebrating together. There's tons of stuff to celebrate on this cruise, lots of birthdays and everything, but one of them, one of the things we're going to be celebrating is our anniversary. 26. 26 years. So yeah. that's your challenge. You got to get to 26. If you're going to make the, make the leap, 26, 26 is the number to hit. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think we're going to call us. it quits after 27 now. You think so? <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Hey, and another question that somebody asked, I don't think we talked about this, and then we'll wrap this up. Somebody asked, where did we honeymoon? Oh. If you guys, comment below. Where do you, what do you think we did on our honeymoon? You know us as being, well, you know, guess one of two things. Either Disney or a cruise. Right. We went cruise. on a cruise. <laughs> we went on a cruise. It was my, ever been cruising. It was my first cruise had, ever. Yeah, you had yeah. only been on one working for Disney. Yeah, so fun. And I had never been on a cruise before. Oh, no, you went on one with the next girlfriend, too, I think. Right? <laughs> Remember? Oh, um, Carolyn. Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was Mine was on a cruise, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, good. That makes me happy. So, yes, we went on a carnival cruise for our first. Um, yeah. for our, we had a bus. I just remember laughing the whole time. We yes. had such a good time. Yes, I remember doing laundry, man. <laughs> yes, we were doing, oh my gosh. We had had a few cocktails and decided to do laundry. Yes, very funny. We'll leave it at that, that was very funny. Comment down below if you have any more questions. Um, we will be doing more Q and A's and let us know, do you want us to do more Q and A's? Yeah, thanks for coming along on the drive. Yeah, absolutely, it shortens our drive. So, um, but if you like this video, watch our other Q and A that we did with the family just a few months ago. You'll learn a lot, it was very fun. Yeah. See you guys.